Hello magical friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and this is my magical space. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. So today's video I'm a little bit excited about. I do have a little delivery from Universal, um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So if you were not aware, A, I love plushies, but B, they released a Thestral. So, Finally, I feel like we've all wanted the Thestral for a really long time and we got it and I am not even a little bit disappointed. I love the size of it. I love the, um, the wings. I love the position and how they have it sitting. It's perfect. Like it's 35 US dollars, but money well spent. Like if you love plushies like I do, this thing is absolutely adorable and it's got like a cute little mane down the center and then the giant wings and I think they have some sort of like boning in them. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. I am so like, look how cute just sitting on the desk. It's adorable. So yes, very happy that they finally listened and released a Thestral plushie. Uh, next up, Wizarding World, please give me an Akami. I would be ever so thankful, I will, Teddy's joining us, if I could have a Akami plush. So, Thestral plush. And now, look at this. I'm so excited. This has been on my list for a pretty long time. I was not expecting it to look as fancy as it does in the box. So. We've got a solid black box with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Universal Studios. Online, it says it's 95 US dollars, but for some reason the box said 125. I don't see know why. Um, so it is the Hogshead Jug. It's been on my list for a long time. I really wanted to add it to my collection. I was worried my cats are scratched. Cardboard. Um, I was worried that it was going to break during shipping, so I've kind of always put it. Oh, so do you see this fancy satin? Like they've lined the black box with the satin lining. They sure do know how to make a girl feel fancy. I like it. What am I doing here? So this is a two tier. Okay, so again with the black satin over top of the padding. That is a really elegant touch. Like they are making this thing feel like it is made of 18 karat gold and hand blown glass. Like they are, they are serving this up like, wow. So that is what it looks like in the box. It is, bigger than I expected it to be. Maybe once it's out and put together, um, it will seem smaller because there's like this foam in between, but it definitely seems bigger to me than what I've seen in pictures, but wow. So they, they make this an experience and as always, I will be keeping the box, but I am gonna take it out and display it. Okay, so it's definitely um, dusty. If you can see, it's, um super cloudy and dusty. So it's going to need some cleaning. I am assuming that A, they don't sell a whole lot of these or B, it has been in this box for years and years and years because it is so dusty. Uh, now to get out this hog's head and like, let me tell you, I feel like it weighs a thousand pounds. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I feel like I need to put this on a scale. Does it tell you how much this weighs? This is insane. Warner Brothers, not micro, not microwave or dishwasher safe. If you are using your hog's head jug for legitimate parties and filling it up, good on you. Um, 
there's no effing way that I would ever actually use this. It is, it's a replica. It's to be displayed in your collection. I mean, maybe if I was like a billionaire. So there's like a little, I thought that this would be like solid or filled in, it's not. Like you legitimately can see in, it's got like the tongue and then like the under tongue. I don't even know what that's called. I gotta learn my anatomy. Um, and the little mouth and then the pig, pig, boar, hog, wow. the ears. This, I, I wanna see like two pounds. I might actually take this upstairs and put it on my scale, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all, I, uh, I freaking give up. I uh, cannot get this thing on to the point where it feels like secure or like it's not lopsided. Um, and I'm getting frustrated. So hopefully I can get it on and if not, um, and there's like some ridiculously silly way of how this goes on and I am just having a moment, uh, you can yell at me in the comments section because I just don't get it. I don't understand why do you turn it, but there's no like grooves, but if you just push it on, it goes lopsided. Also the little undertongue thing, it's because this is like a legit, you can actually use it as a jug. And so the water comes, water, fluid, beer, wine, whatever the hell you're putting in here actually comes out of his mouth. Like they've got the little hole there for the fluid to come into and then it comes out of his mouth underneath his tongue. So that's what that's there for. So um, yeah, this is it. It was 95 US dollars. I would like to say that it's worth the cost. Um, like it's super well made, the head is super heavy. Um, it's very cool. I, I like the replica. I just have no idea how to get the head on. And the box, like the presentation, they definitely went above and beyond. I'm super excited about that. I wish there was instructions. Is there, no. Nope, no instructions. I will figure this out and I will, well, I uh, hopefully figure this out. If not, it's just gonna sit right next to the, to, oops. I gotta clean this thing anyway. It's cause like I said, it is like absolutely disgusting. I can't even see through it. <sighs> okay, well, this is the newest item in my collection going on my shelves. Uh, what else did I buy this week? Holy crap, people. I spent way too much money and bought a lounge fly bag, the Honey Dukes one, because a Funko Pop got released that was um, 2,000 pieces. So limited, limited to 2,000 pieces production. It's number 137. It's Harry holding a chocolate frog. You had to buy the Honey Dukes bag in order to get the Funko Pop. Um, it was a combo deal, not sold separately, and you could only buy it through Loungefly. I did manage to get one at release. So that Funko Pop, I thank God the bag was nice because, um, well, even if it was like a brown paper bag in the shape of a piece of poop, I would have bought it because I need that pop because I am a completionist, completionist. I need to have a complete set of Funko Pops. So at 2000 units, which we've never had happen before for a Harry Potter Funko, I'm pretty sure that this Funko Pop is going to be um, one of the rarest or most expensive pops to purchase because of its limited number. Um, and I did go ahead and buy a very expensive case for it because uh, at, like I said, 2000 pieces, I, if anything happens to that Funko Pop that I had to buy a lounge fly bag to obtain, I'm going to be upset. So yeah, anyways, that was my week, uh, I think the Funko gods that I was lucky enough to get one because a lot of people weren't and they are now paying a lot of money on eBay to try and get one. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, and, and nothing but love and Lumos for the week ahead. Thanks guys.